Alright guys, so here we are on Forza Motorsport 6 once again. As promised, I'm going to be driving modern F1 cars around the Nürburgring Nordschleife. I've never done this before in a video, but this is going to be something else. Let's go. I can't believe I'm doing this. I, I really can't. This is going to be so crazy. Uh, for this video, we've upped the player difficulty, the AI difficulty rather, to uh, unbeatable. I believe we'll be racing against uh, Indy cars once again, which is a bit disappointing. I want to race against cars of the exact same spec, so I want to be racing against F1 cars, if you know what I mean. So hopefully, I don't know, hopefully it's going to be closer than the previous videos we've seen. I may give the AI a little bit of a head start because this Lotus F1 car has so much more downforce that's, that's aimed towards going through corners quickly as opposed to an Indy car which has good downforce, but it's more or less meant to be slippery in a straight line, so we'll see how we go. I may just end up letting everyone go through at the very start of this race. So in the comments, let me know how many mistakes you think we're going to make, as in how many rewinds we're going to need, but here we go. Building, uh, we'll, we'll pull off to the side here, we'll make this a little bit harder for ourselves, and we'll see how we go. We'll go from last to first if we can. I just realized that the version we were running of Nürburgring included the Grand Prix circuit as well. What I want is just the Nordschleife, so we'll go with that. I'm sorry if you wanted to see the other version, but this is the one that I've come to know on Forza Motorsport 3 and number 4. So we'll go with this one. If you want to see the other version of the track, then let me know down in the, down in the comments, and we'll try it with, uh, I don't know, some classic F1 cars or something. 16 kilometers an hour, can you imagine? Driving on a road like that and being forced to do 16 kilometers an hour. I could get out and walk faster than that, but here we go. We, I can see already we're racing against a classic F1 car. It looks like the rest may well be Indy cars. But this this starting point here is a lot uh, tighter. It's going to be a lot tougher to let cars through. So that's what we're going to do. Drop down, drop down to last. And then we'll go from there. I'm stuck on the curves, actually. And we've been killed. Come on. Oh my god. I'm off to the edge of the track. And you still feel the need to hit me off, even though I'm basically charity right now, giving you all the positions you want. You know what? We'll wait about five seconds and then we'll just go. Because waiting for every single car is just going to be too much of a hassle. Let's go now. Let's go now. Let's go now. Great. This recording has gone on for 13 minutes and 36 seconds. And still, we cannot get past the start where I'm trying to let everyone through. This time, surely this time, no one will hit me. Uh, yay, yay, we've managed it. Congratulations. Now, it's down to me not to crash. And we know from past experience that, that is simply not going to happen. Uh, we're going to gain a position already. We passed a McLaren MP4-4, the one we did in the previous... <gasps> Sorry about the scream. That part of the track uh, really came up on me quickly. I'm not used to this F1 car. The car in front of me, another McLaren MP4-4, has crashed. So, Senna and Prost uh, battling at the back of the field. That's something I never thought I'd say. But either way, in the P22, I'm going to have to get used to the handling characteristics of this car very, very quickly. Because we've got some frightening corners coming up, including this one. Oh, oh I thought we were going to get airborne there. If I would have held it flat, I think we would have gone airborne. But somehow, I don't think we have any substantial damage to the car. And that's just an absolute miracle uh, so far in this race. Lads, let me know in the comments where you think we might finish in this race. If indeed we do finish at the end of this video. Oh! Back end. Okay, I feel like Grosjean now, or Maldonado. This Lotus is an absolute beast. Not in a good way. In a, I want to throw you sideways into a wall kind of way. Now the suspension travel. Looks pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, the downforce. The downforce there has absolutely saved me going through that high speed corner. This does not feel like F1 at all. I actually felt so much more comfortable with the MP4-4 on the pad. The wheel just doesn't feel natural to me on Forza. Oh, 
Keep it off the walls, Ben. That's not keeping it off the walls. Keep it off that McLaren, please. I'm struggling to, to stay in front of limping McLarens who, mm, whose cars are pretty much totally written off here. And now we're going to get overtaken here. He's on the outside. I'm just too scared to push right now. Because as soon as we get up any kind of momentum, I just feel like this car is going to throw me sideways into a wall. Or I'm just going to not stop for a particular corner, but we've, got, we've moved up into P21. I, dare I say it, can we get in the top 10 in this race? This is an absolute nightmare. Who, in their right mind, would want to try this? This is insane! We've moved up to P20 now. Oh my god. Okay, we've got eight gears as well. I don't think they had eight gears in the 2013 Lotus, unless this is the 2014 one, in which case I'm being absolutely stupid and I should edit this part out of the video. Oh, I remember this bit. No, I don't remember doing that. Oh, I should know this track like the back of my hand. I've done so many laps in it in a McLaren F1 GTR, back on Forza Motorsport 3 in particular. I did it on Motorsport 4 as well. My experience hasn't helped me there. But I always did this track on the pad, and I always did it in a car that didn't have so much torque under the rear wheels. So this is uh, an entirely different beast altogether. I remember doing uh, sub minute 7, so 6 minute 40, something like that, would be a good time. And a McLaren F1, get off the walls. But I expect that even in this F1 car, in this terrible run that we're doing right now, that we should be in, I don't know, the five minute range? Even from a standing start. This car is so quick, the, the apex speed, the braking, the traction, it should be ridiculously better than anything I've ever driven around this circuit before. But, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how this car holds up and um, if traffic gets in the way a little bit. We are catching the cars in front, so that is a, that is a massive positive and we're coming towards the end of the lap now where I seem to normally shine. I love this part of the circuit. One of my most favorite corners in the world are coming up. It's uh, one of the final few corners. It's a very fast right-hander. If, if, if I can remember what it looks like or where it is, I'll let you guys know. I think it's this corner here, right here. In a McLaren F1, you just get through there by lifting off a little bit, maybe flat sometimes. It's a very satisfying corner, that one, but not so much in an F1 car when you can't even keep it on the track. I'm sorry guys, I'm just not done this track and this video justice. I'm just too much of a noob right now. I should have done a little bit of practice in the build up to this. Around the outside of that freaking Indy car like it was standing still. This F1 car is amazing when you can get it hooked up and I think that is going to be the lap. And we are only just going to miss out on posting a time in the 5 minute bracket. It's going to be a 6 minute 5 or something like that. Maybe. Can we get it under 6.10? No, the, the finish line is actually not on the straight. I actually thought it was. Because on Forza Motorsport 3, they had the finish line on the massive straight there. So the time is going to be a little less competitive than what I was first anticipating. But this race is coming to an end now. If you guys want me to see this again, you want me to try it again in another video, I'd be... Oh, we've lost the position and we've dropped down to P20. That's this race, guys. We posted a 6 minute 30, and that is not very competitive at all. Considering I've done that, I've done a very similar time in a car much slower than that. But that's been this video for today. I definitely want to try this out again in a different car, possibly. Uh, hopefully with some F1 cars. If we can buy this thing and do an actual proper race or something like that, that'd be amazing. But leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video.